week did not start off particularly well for the Doctor Who BBC marketing department because there was this cover that dropped for the latest issue of Doctor Who magazine, issue 583. And it's got these three on the front cover, uh, Jodie Whittaker, it's got John Bishop, it's got Mandip Gill in the orange spacesuit. So I, we already know they're going to be in it. It's what, we didn't know that um, Yaz was going to be in a spacesuit. We only, we'd, only, we'd only seen promotional images of these two in there. But yeah, all of this stuff on the cover of the upcoming issue. And this was available on the Panini website and people on Facebook started sharing it. And on Twitter, they started sharing this brand new image. Oh, we might be getting a poster soon. We might be getting a trailer soon and everything, all that good stuff. Only for those twitter accounts to receive a, a stern email written in red ink supposedly from the bbc saying can you take those images down and while this was available on the panini website this too has also been removed but the internet remembers so we finally got some promotion we finally got some marketing material and the bbc was like nope we can't have that even though this isn't a spoiler filled cover at all there's nothing that we don't already know on this cover except i guess yaz being in the spacesuit so i guess that was enough to justify a scorched earth a scorched earth solution anyway the next issue of doctor magazine uh, 583 is available to pre-order comes out on the 13th of october power of the doctor preview interviews of joda whittaker mandip gill john bishop chris chibnall we also have some galaxy 4 stuff the collection season 2 preview journey to the center of the tardis featurette there's also a 28 page supplemental magazine doctor who a bbc production that's the thing down here that looks very interesting uh, a diorama of the first doctor's tardis a complete audio adventure starring paul mcgann sheridan smith presumably just a, an old big finish one i don't think that they would keep secret a reunion of the eighth doctor and lucy miller but anyway and a double-sided poster and this was the poster that did end up dropping on the saturday this is the brand new high-res poster that i'm using tv zone uk because they just have all this information compiled here we have a brand new poster for the power of the doctor Jodie whittaker in the center stepping forward you've got a sasha Duan's master over her shoulder a shard the lone cyberman played by patrick o'kane and we have a random dialect that's gone a little bit wibbly on on the base here we've got some new images as well we've got jody seemingly regenerating in this weird place that we, we saw it at the end of the teaser trailer of the legend of the sea devils but if you scroll a little bit further down we've got more images of janet fielding and sophie aldred as tegan and ace respectively and they seem to be looking at different places but i don't mind it's a cool image and there's these two dudes here as well very cool scroll a bit further down and we have the image of these three in the spacesuit and also we have Ra Ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. And there was a slight synopsis as well that was released uh, on the yeah, TV Zone website. Uh, who was attacking a speeding bullet train on the edges of a distant galaxy? Why are seismologists going missing from 21st century Earth? Who is defacing some of history's most iconic paintings? Why is a Dalek trying to make contact with the Doctor? And just what... And just what hold does the mesmeric Rasputin have over Tsar Nicholas in 1916 Russia? Why are there so many questions in Chris Chibnall's plot synopsises? Who knows? Let's find out together, because we actually did finally get a release date for this thing. And it's the release date everybody assumed it would be. Sunday, the 23rd of October on bbc one however it is not going to be simulcast like doctor who flux was for bbc america it is going to be dropping in real terms about five or six hours later rest in peace american doctor who fans who didn't want anything spoiled for them you'll have you're gonna have to steer clear of social media for a good quarter of a day if you want to make sure that you don't have the final chapter of the 13th doctor's adventure spoiled for you we also did get a trailer this we we got we finally got it we got a trailer we're going to be slightly playing with fire on this live stream because we're going to be going through it i'm not going to say frame by frame i'm not nearly that methodical but i'm going to comb through a couple of interesting details that i think many people might have missed once again this is the master as ra ra rasputin and if we scroll a little bit further along apologies for the sound i'm going to try and mute it so we have the volcano erupting here seismologists are apparently going missing uh, i think it's like um, 13 seismologists have gone missing and also 15 paintings have gone now this is seemingly where we meet 
Sophie Aldred as Ace. And this filming location is the Bristol Museum and Art Gallery. We can see from the walls, we can see from uh, the edge of the chairs here, the benches here. I think this is like a venting system in the museum in order to keep the, the paintings and the pictures well preserved while on display. And the painting that's gone missing here is actually this one, La Belle Dame Sans Merci. It is specifically the 1901 version by Frank Dixie. Uh, th so this basically tells the story of an old 15th century poem about this woman who lulls a bunch of dudes into her, I don't know, bosom, I presume. It lulls them into a false sense of security in order to kill them. If we want to try and really read into it and have some sort of, you know, art imitating art or some sort of symbolism here, we can presume that this could possibly be the master doing this to the doctor. Or if we want to have some sort of art mim uh, mimicking life, this could be me doing the exact same thing to your dad. But for the power of the doctor teaser, it looks like this is where we're going to be meeting Sophie Aldred as Ace. And if we scroll a little bit further along, we see what looks to be Unit HQ exploding. That is the Unified Intelligence um, Task Force logo uh, at the bottom of it. And we see a little bit later on, where is it? It's Sophie Aldred as Ace parachuting, presumably escaping the explosion. That is going to be the bits and pieces that I'm putting together. Van Gogh Tyler's painting. Or it could be, actually. It could also be the Dan Venista fan art. There's, there are always options. There, there are multiple memes that I have seen online as to what this could be. But this does look like this is going to be what um, our introduction to Sophie Aldred as Ace. It could be her first scene. So there is also um, one thing that was uh, pointed out online is that this is not the version of the trailer that was televised. This is the one that went up online, but there was a version of the trailer that went on Strictly Come Dancing uh, like just, just before it broadcast on this Saturday evening. And it has a slightly different edit to it. There's the only difference for the Strictly Come Dancing version of the trailer is this shot here, where we can see Dan's space helmet has been blown through while they're doing what seems to be some sort of a rescue mission on the top of a, a bullet train. Everyone's saying Dan is dead. I, To be fair, we don't actually see much more of him in the trailer or the promo. We've not seen him in any other images except these ones in the spacesuit. So he could actually be outed from the story relatively early. I mean, yeah, he seems very happy. He's too happy in a, in a Chris Chibnall story, so he surely has to die. But yeah, so this is the image that we've... Um, uh, this is the only edit that was in the Strictly Come Dancing version of the trailer. Speeding bullet train on the edges of a distant galaxy. It looks like that this could be something akin to, like, a rescue mission. There was a pretty cool shot of... Where is it? I'm just worried about copyright and content ID stuff. There was a pretty cool-looking shot set inside of the TARDIS of the group throwing what looked to be a rope ladder out of the TARDIS. The Empire magazine image of what looked, what I thought might have been Gallifrey, I thought it might have been a drastically colour corrected or uncolour corrected Gallifrey quarry, but if we look at the trailer it looks to be, no, th this is definitely the colour grading that they're going for. This could still be like a cyber converted Gallifrey, because we know the Cybermasters are there. In the scene at the end when it looks like the 13th Doctor is going to either regenerate or be erased from existence, we know from these TV zone images that there are Cybermasters present, so they definitely have something to do uh, with what's going on in this scene. It could be a regeneration, it could be the Doctor being erased from existence. I'm more inclined to believe that this is more of the regeneration. It looks like in this trailer that the energy that is going to erase the Doctor from existence is this weird jellyfishy thing, but that's not the most prominent thing that we see in this um in this shot if you one second i will have to move the chat out of the way so you can see on the bottom there's a tardis here and then also where my webcam is there's another tardis here as well there are in fact in this shot two tardises so i'm pr people have been saying this is maybe some sort of big multi-doctor event maybe this is where the 10th doctor comes in maybe shooter gatwa or some other incarnation i'm way more inclined to believe that this is the fugitive doctor or possibly because we do see the uh a tardis that seems to have been defaced by jared leto's joker this could be sasha dewan's like imposter tardis or something so maybe he tries to lull um yaz or the doctor inside and 
he seems to have the last laugh. I don't know. Also, nobody's saying how one of the TARDIS windows are red. Well, let's take a look at that shot again. I really should have had more. Here we go. One of them's red. Is it red? Uh, I, I'm more inclined to think that that's the lighting of the big red explosion. Yeah, that's definitely the lighting. Yeah, that's the lighting from the explosion. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I wouldn't look too deeply into the into the red windows. But yeah, it looks like that this is some sort of weird jellyfish energy that is trying to erase the Doctor from existence. We also know from that first teaser trip where Ace and Tegan were shooting that they are shooting at Cybermen. So we see that they go over the table, go pew, 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 and there's uh, Cybermen or Cyber Warriors with a shad stood in the middle. This seems to be them attacking and infiltrating the unit base that we've seen in other promotional images as well let's hope ace and tegan are shooting gold bullets hopefully i don't know well ace should definitely know i don't <laughs> ace should definitely know tegan is maybe forgiven for not knowing oh no to be no she was there when um when adric's badge was used to kill the cyber leader so yeah poor showing from both of them really so we see that a, a uh, dalek has somehow projected itself inside of the tardis to maybe give the doctor a five minute head start i presume but we also see this shot here showing that the daleks are maybe going back into old habits it does look like they are drilling into something um so that we haven't actually seen the daleks do some sort of extensive mining operation since destiny of the daleks back in the late 1970s so it seems like they're going back into old habit if you remember in the dalek invasion of earth their plan was to drill into the core of the planet remove the core so they could pilot it around like a spaceship because that's how science works it was a project called uh, operation degravitate if i remember correctly Ho now so my prediction is though with shots like this my out of left field comparison is that this could be the bullet trains it, i think it's more likely to be explosions and missiles but it could be one is earth and one is um the newly cybernized gallifrey where a lot of the story seems to take place there's the one uh, wide shot on gallifrey where you can see the earth in the background here here we go yeah the earth is in the background on this cybernized gallifrey i also do not want to be inclined to think it's that either because then it's just a carbon copy of the end of time part two when gallifrey appears in earth's orbit and say what you will about chris chibnall i do want to hope he's a little bit more original than that looks a bit like mondas to me to be fair mondas is not uh, a planet it is a people if it's going to be like this is like gallifrey but it has been cybernized or if it is mondas or another cyber planet it does seem like they are invading earth maybe we could combine these theories maybe it's the daleks drilling into mondas to pilot it around like a spaceship so that they can fire bullet trains at the earth and then they can <laughs> recreate the ending of the end of time part two so yeah we do know that vinder is here he also appears to be on the cybernized planet as well uh, oh actually no someone in the chat earlier was mentioning the red windows of the tardis that's a point that the windows were red in that shot we also see this planet as well which looks to be actually let's go back if you look here mushroom land we'll just call this mushroom land this shot here where you've got the two planets shooting at each other does look like it takes place on mushroom land as well so we're going to be visiting multiple planets earth mondas gallifrey and mushroom hill zone from sonic the hedgehog we also have um chris chibnall loving his beams fired into earth like the battle of ranskor and also in fugitive of the dune drill drill here's the rope ladder i knew i wasn't making this up yeah, so they throw a rope ladder. So this looks like this takes place in the same set piece, the same scene as the speed bullet train. So either this is a rescue mission where they're throwing the rope ladder down to somebody, possibly Vinda, or maybe it is the, how they get onto the bullet train. We see towards the end, uh, the Doctor and Yaz are running on the planet. Here we go. And those are definitely Dalek uh lasers i don't think there's much dispute there that yeah cyber lasers generally don't look like that and then there's also a shot here we go a shot of them running into the tardis probably it's a continuation of those scenes yeah that's a dalek bullet there as well it's a blink and you miss it shot of what looks to be a spaceship just flying past the camera if you go back to the vanquishers if you remember the climax of that story once you've um 
collectively tried to recover from how jam-packed of everything that story was. You remember that in the final battle against the Santaran fleet, there were three ships. There was Carvinista's ship, which had Carvinista and the Doctor inside, and then there were two ships, both of, whom, both of whom were piloted separately by Bella and Vinda. This ship looks an awful lot like those ships that Bella and Vinda were piloting, so I presume this could be either Vinda just flying towards something, or maybe Bell has a surprise cameo appearance. We have not seen any confirmation or casting news or any photos or anything of Thaddea Graham, which I think would be a massive shame. She was one of my um, favourite things about... Um, uh, one of my favourite things about Doctor Who Flux. It's 100% Vinda. I can hope. I can hope that it's Bell or Baby Bell. There's also what appears to be just a shot of an elevator shaft. I cannot make heads or tails as to whom this individual is. Maybe if we slow down all the way, we might get a clue. So, Dalek bullets making their way down. Yeah, no idea who that is. That is that is just a body in an elevator shaft. Here we go. Yeah, so here's the Vinda shot where the TARDIS has got the red windows. This could always just be Cloyster Bell, end of the universe stuff. I don't think this is that Master's Decoy TARDIS because there's no ha 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 on the front of it. So, yeah, honestly, I think that's kind of it. It looks like that maybe this speed train rescue is something that is completely detached from everything. Maybe Dan gets shot in the face and is incapacitated throughout the rest of the serial. I mean, to be fair, we've got Dan, uh, we've got Tegan, we've got Ace, we've got Ashad, we've got the Daleks, we've got the Master as Rasputin, we've got 13th Regeneration, we've got Kate Stewart, we've got Yaz, we've got all of that stuff. So something's got to give, and I do think it it could be Dan. It could be Dan just um, getting, uh, getting offed early on. Presumably not dying, because we do know that he does survive this. There is the image of him, uh, the production image with him with the space helmet holding it, with the hole in it. So we do know he does indeed survive this brief encounter with the vastness and the coldness of space. So, yeah. Interesting that the hell's, his helmet's clearly been shot, but his face is fine. It's because he's, he's made of sterner stuff. He's from Liverpool. Sterner stuff, lads. That did look to be almost like a Cyberman. Something very silver. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, they encounter the Cybermen uh, on the bullet train. We've seen the image of the um, bullet of the train with the hole in the ceiling, and there's a load of Cybermen inside. So, presumably, they go to save this bullet train and find a bunch of Cybermen inside. There we go. We're, we're learning together as we go through this trailer. Overall, I, I did like this trailer. It was good to finally have something, even though we are literally like two weeks away from the actual broadcast date we also while i'm here beautiful artwork uh, revealed and special features as well for the upcoming special steelbook so we got this this is from sophie cowdery who's done a lot of doctor who steelbook artwork but this was announced today so we've got the 13th doctor on the cover it's still with a, a very fluxy rainbow pattern here and i love the the breaking up TARDIS from Eve of the Daleks here as well. We've got Stuart the Sea Devil. I'm so glad he made the cover. A Shad, Tegan, a Dalek, Ace with the baseball bat, uh, Dan, Yaz, and Sasha Dewan's master here. It looks very cool. This is a beautiful steelbook. And they have also officially dropped the price. The RRP was $39.99. The RRP has now changed to $29.99 for those of you who were maybe a little bit iffy about wanting to pre-order it because of the price tag. It has been dropped now. The bonus material includes the behind-the-scenes features for either the Daleks, the Dalek Execution, Legend of the Sea Devils, the Sea Devils Return, also Becoming Pirates, the Power of the Doctor behind the scenes, which are uh, not named, which is absolutely understandable at this point. A farewell to Jodie Whittaker and Mandip Gill. Dan's here. <laughs> a bit, bit mean. And also audio commentaries of all three episodes as well. That's really cool. Getting audio commentaries from those as well. Were there audio commentaries on the Eva the Dalek and Legend of the Sea Devils release? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check that out right now. Oh, okay, okay. So I went on to the Amazon listing for the Legend of the Sea Devils and eve of the daleks uh, double pack they do have audio commentaries i don't know who's on them because this is just the amazon listing but yeah so it's not like we're gaining anything totally brand new with those audio commentaries for the steelbook but still really cool to get that steelbook all the same